Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to use the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers to find the maximum and minimum value of the given function x square plus y square plus z square. But the condition is x plus y plus z is equal to 3a. So the function f of x comma y comma z is x square plus y square plus z square and g of x comma y comma z is x plus y plus z 3a will take to the other side so minus 3a now we have to write the auxiliary function which is capital f of x comma y comma z comma lambda so this capital f which is in terms of x y z and lambda is f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z so capital a becomes x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda into x plus y plus z minus 3a now we have to do partial differentiation with respect to x this gives 2x plus lambda then partial differentiation with respect to y we give 2y plus lambda and partial differentiation with respect to z is 2z plus lambda as for the working procedure and the condition we have to equate all these three to zero then from the first one we are getting lambda equal to minus 2x from second one, lambda equal to minus 2y. In third one, lambda equal to minus 2z. Equating all the three lambda, we get minus 2x equal to minus 2y equal to minus 2z. Cancelling minus 2 everywhere, we get x is equal to y is equal to z. Because the relation between x is x, y and z, we have to substitute with the given condition x plus y plus z is equal to 3a is the condition. So, substituting this in x plus y plus z is equal to 3a. So, x will keep it as x itself, then y is also x, z is also x equal to 3a. So, from this 3x equal to 3a, so x is equal to a, when x is a, y is also a and z is also a. So, we got a stationary point but we are having only one point. The stationary point is a comma a comma a. But, we don't know whether it is a maximum or minimum at this point. So, for that we have to use the other conditions. That is, we have to take the small f function which is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square x square plus y square plus z square we will find fx which is 2x then fy which is 2y but before this we have to rewrite this function we have three variables so z from here is 3a minus x minus y so, before finding this, it is better to write in the two variable that is x square plus y square plus z square is 3a minus x minus y whole square. Then, from this, fx is 2x plus 2 into 3a minus x minus y into differentiation of this will be minus 1. So, directly let us write minus 1 here. Now, Fy is nothing but 2y into minus 2 into 3a minus x minus y. Usually, we equate this to 0 to get the stationary point, but already we got the stationary points. Let us go for the next condition. We need Fxx, which is called as A, which is differentiation, partial differentiation of Fx with respect to x again. So, 2 then minus 2 into minus 1. 
which is 4 greater than 0 then f x y which is partial differentiation of f y with respect to x so this is 0 now minus 2 into minus 1 which is 2 now f y y and this value is actually taken as b and f y y is c with this partial differentiation of f y with respect to y again so 2 into 1 minus 2 into minus 1 totally 2 plus 2 it is 4 which is greater than 0 when this is greater than 0 and a is greater than 0 it is minimum that is sorry we have to find the condition a c minus b square so a c which is nothing but 4 into 4 minus b square is 4 2 square which is 4 so we are getting 16 minus 4 which is 12 this is greater than 0 so here no need to see the value of c whether positive or negative so we got the so we got the condition the value of the condition a c minus b square is positive and f x x that is capital A is positive therefore it is minimum so from this we conclude that it is having the minimum value already we got the stationary points a comma a comma a to find the minimum value we have to substitute with the function x square plus y square plus z square therefore the minimum value is x square plus y square plus z square which is equal to a square plus a square plus a square and it is 3a square and for this function with this given condition we don't have the maximum value we have only the minimum value and the minimum value is 3a square